Sports Animation. Every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. In a village where secrets and betrayal reign supreme, one man's inheritance sparks a war between his heirs and his own family. He, revered by all who knew him, was not just an elder. He was the living embodiment of wisdom and goodness. In these moments of sharing, he often evoked ancient wisdom, and the values of integrity and respect rooted in faith. For him, the family was a divine gift and the land they cultivated was a blessing from God to be cherished and protected. His words were full of conviction, affirming that their destiny was in the hands of providence. Hello, wise ye. Hello, son. How are you? I'm fine, dear elder. And how are you yourself? I'm fine too. What brings you to see me, my boy? I need your advice, dear elder. Speak to me, my son. For several months I had refused to go and make offerings to the gods of the earth, because I had converted to Christianity. But strangely enough, things are going from bad to worse in my field. Nothing works anymore. My crop is failing. My cattle are getting sick, and I'm recording a lot of theft these days. I've really lost all hope. I feel like giving up and going back to my gods. At least with them, my harvests were good, and everything was better in my life. I'd like your advice before I make my final decision. I've been told that you're the only wise man who doesn't worship the little gods of this village, but who prospers. I'd like to know how you do it. I've heard your concerns, my son. Thank you for trusting me. If there's one piece of advice I can give you, my son, it's never to turn back. Anyone who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is not worthy of God. You must not leave your God because of your difficulties, my son. Let me tell you a secret. Difficulties will never end as long as you're breathing. The important thing is to overcome them with dignity and the fear of God. Okay, Elder Yi. But what's your secret? You don't seem to have any worries. <laughs> my son, I have my difficulties too. Those who tell you that I don't have any, only see the outside and what I want to show them. When you don't cry out your pain, and cry in front of humans, they will never know your sorrows, and your weaknesses. My son, I trust in the Lord alone. Yes, I prosper, and I have much wealth. But it's all thanks to Him. I have my trials too, but it's God who crowns me. My prosperity comes from Him. So you mean to tell me that the only secret is to believe in God? Even in famine and hardship? Are you sure these are all your secrets? Listen, my son. Even when the fig tree does not blossom, or the fruit of the olive tree fails, or the fields do not yield food, and even when the sheep disappear from the pasture and there are no oxen in the barns, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be glad because of the God of my salvation. All right, wise ye. Don't forget to look after your field and your livestock. It may be that it's your fellow farmers who are at the root of your problems, because you no longer serve their gods. I hadn't thought of that possibility at all. Be vigilant. Thank you very much for your advice. Please, my son. See you soon. My life is rotten. I have no hope of living. I'd rather kill myself. My god. Who is this girl who wants to kill herself in the middle of the forest? What are you trying to do, mademoiselle? Get rid of that rope. 
Let me hang myself. I'd rather leave this cruel world. And why I would let you do something so heinous? What village are you from? I'm from the East Village. And why would you want to kill yourself? I was expelled from my village because I refused to take part in a ceremony. My parents had also abandoned me, preferring to put up with the village elders. Really? Come closer. Which ceremony is it? It's a ceremony to be forgiven by the gods. What have you done to hope for the gods' forgiveness? In my clan, when a girl gets pregnant without knowing the father, there are two possibilities. Either she gets naked and walks around the village, or she agrees to have an abortion by offering the run to the gods. What? Your gods feed on embryos or what? It's always been an ancestral practice in my village, and almost half the girls go through it. You mean to tell me that almost half the girls in your village get pregnant without knowing their fathers? Yes, Daddy. How is it possible? Young girls are often raped by unknown men, perhaps from my village or elsewhere. My God. So if I understand correctly you were raped too. But I wouldn't like to do their ritual and I wouldn't like to get rid of my pregnancy either. That's why I was banned. It's sad, my daughter. But that's no reason to kill yourself. Are you the author of life? Do you know why God created you? Believe me, my daughter, killing yourself would be the worst and stupidest decision you could make. It's even better to go and perform their ritual than to kill yourself. But how could I live alone? I have nothing to live on and no roof over my head. Who would take care of the child I'm carrying? I'd rather kill myself. I refuse to go back to this village to do what they want. I understand you perfectly, my daughter. You won't go back to your village and you won't kill yourself either. How will I get by? You're coming to stay with me. My family will be very happy to welcome you. Really? Yes, my daughter. Thank you very much for your help. Darling. Mafia. Please come. Darling. Wait for me here, Ola. Coming. Okay, Dad. Oh? I didn't know you were still in the kitchen, darling. I was a little late, because of the market. I had delayed more than expected. All right. Where the Karasai and Karte? Karasai must still be at the farm. He told me this evening that he'd have farrowings. I'm sure that's the case. That's why he hasn't come home yet. As for Karte, she has just taken her aunt Manu home. So my sister man was here? Yes to the 4 p.m. round. Okay. Come and sit down, darling. I need some advice from you. I'm coming, baby. First, I'd like to introduce you to someone. We have a stranger? I'm coming. Follow me all. Okay. Darling. This is all. She'll stay with us for a while. Take her as your daughter. All right, darling. On my way. I'll take a look in the hen house. Don't forget to send lunch to my brother Gogo. I'll send it to him as soon as I finish. Okay. Welcome, Oa. Thank you, madam. Call me Mafia. It's my name. I prefer to call you mom. You're my mother's age. As you wish. My son is coming. Hi, dad. Welcome home, my angel. Your mother told me you were still at the farm. Yes, daddy. We'd had several births today. So I assisted the females and took good care of the newborns. Thank you, son. I am very proud of you. Please, dad. I proclaim the blessings of heaven over you and your sister. Water will never fail and your jar and your granary will never be empty of food. I bless you and all your descendants. So it will be by God's grace. Amen, Daddy. You bless us every day, every minute. We're so full of blessings. What use are my lips if only to proclaim the words of sight about you? As long as I'm alive. I'll bless everyone around me. Thanks, Dad.
This is how old he behaved in his village. He was the hope of many young people in the village, and even in neighboring villages. His wife and children were well cared for, and treated with the respect they deserved. But in the shadow of this apparent harmony, dark forces were plotting. His brother, Gogo, obsessed with earthly power, coveted his wealth, ignoring the spiritual principles his brother so cherished. With the help of his sister Mana, a witch whose intentions were as dark as the night, Gogo hatched unholy plans to appropriate what he believed to be his due. While he concentrated on transmitting sacred values, danger was insidiously closing in. Gogo's glittering eyes betrayed his all-consuming ambition, ready to betray blood ties to satisfy his insatiable appetite for power. Good evening my brother Gogo. Hello big sister. Big sister, your lipstick is too much. It's not a pretty sight. Don't look at my mouth if it's not pretty for you to see. Okay. Did you get to visit our big brother today? Yes, I have been. Our niece Kade just took me home. How is our brother? I hadn't seen him at home. So he's still healthy. Is he alright? Apparently he is nothing yet. Are you sure your medication is working? I told you it's a slow killer. It'll take some time to immobilize it. But it's too slow Mana. Our brother's children are already growing up and getting smarter. If we delay any longer, it'll be harder for us to wrest our brother's property away from him. How difficult will it be? Do these children know where their father's wealth comes from? If our late father hadn't bequeathed him his wealth, would their father ye be rich today? In any case, we must hurry with our actions. I want to take our father's share of the estate as soon as possible. Don't worry. We'll get our hands on everything he owns. But it's very slow. Little did he know that deceptive things were happening in secret. Betrayal was quietly creeping in, threatening to destroy what he had so carefully built. A few months later, as his health declined, the true intentions of his once loyal brother were revealed, paving the way for a struggle that would test the very foundations of family loyalty. My big brother. Please, please, please. Stay alive a little longer for us. Don't die now. Calm down, brother. I ain't dying. But that's not what the doctor told me. According to the tests, your heart will give out soon and you'll die. Calm yourself, Gogo. Save your tears for the day I die. Right now I'm alive. That's what's important to me. Please stop reminding me of my illness. Okay. I went to the doctor. What else did he say? He said you have to walk a lot. You have to make an effort to walk every day. If possible, you can even run. This will reduce the risk of seizures, and your heart will be in better health. Or have I still found the strength to run? I can walk every day but I can't run anymore. It's already good. If you do it regularly, I'm sure you'll be completely cured. By the grace of God. Let's go. I'm going to give you some food for the house. Say hello to my nieces and nephews for me. Tell them not to panic. Their uncle is doing very well. Okay. How are you this morning? I hope you don't still feel your heartache. I'm okay. I give thanks to God. I'm so relieved now. I've been so scared lately. Your chronic ailments make me think a lot. Fear not my darling. I'm fine. Okay. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. I was on the other side of the house with your brother-in-law. Oh, but I didn't know he was here. I could have at least said hello. I hope he's okay. Yes, he just came to see how I'm doing. Ah, oh, that's nice. He also brought me information from my doctor. What did he say? The doctor told me to take daily walks, which would be very good for my health. All right, then. We all wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you, darling. I'd like to go to the market quickly to check on my goods. 
I haven't been for three days because of your health. I agree. Let me come with you. It'll give me a chance to let off some steam. All right. Let's go. It really makes me feel good to walk with you, my darling. I only want you to be happy. I hope you're not tired, eh? We can rest a little first. No, it's okay, we can go. That's what the doctor told me. He told me to try to walk a lot. Okay. What's wrong with you? It's okay. My heart. What have you got, darling? Please help me. What brings you to my field, sister? Have you heard the news? Which one? Apparently, our big brother just had a heart attack on the way to the market. Have you heard? That was my plan. Really? What have you done to him, Gogo? The doctor had told me that he shouldn't make enough physical effort, and that he should refrain from the intermittent walks he used to do. But I told him just the opposite of what the doctor had told him not to do. Go, go. <laughs> You're not far from a wizard, are you? I'm the brother of a witch. <laughs> Call me our children. I want to talk to them. You're part of it too. All right, darling. Here we are, Dad. Calm down, my children. I know my health is deteriorating rapidly, but I'm not dead yet. I forbid you to weep in my presence. Even if I die today, it's only my flesh that perishes. My soul will go to heaven. Amen. My children, listen up. The time has come to talk about our family heritage. Our family's wealth and land are precious. We must protect them at all costs. Why the urgency to talk to us about inheritance, Dad? We still have faith that you'll get over it very quickly and take charge of everything that belongs to you. I know my son. I also hope to heal myself, but I'd like to make the necessary arrangements. Man proposes, but God disposes. Death can take me at any moment, given my advanced age. My wife. You'll have to help your children protect everything we own. Everything belongs to you. Don't let anyone destroy the family heritage. Don't trust your Uncle Gogo and your aunt. But why should we distrust them? Aren't they our blood? Your uncle is responsible for my current state. And I had a dream that my own brother and sister were plotting to kill me and take our inheritance. No. Gogo would never do such a thing. I don't think he would. My aunt and uncle could never do anything bad to you, Dad. Stop being so gloomy. Is it the illness that makes you like this? How are you? Otherwise, I'm very happy today. Enough of your nonsense. It's time to accept your destiny, brother. You've already lived too long. 65 years is not bad. You can die in peace. Lord. What did I just hear? Are you sure you're okay? Uncle Gogo. Do I look like a madman when you see me? The only person who's sick and dying here is your husband. Don't you dare talk about my husband that way. What's wrong with you? What is this nastiness you feel towards your own brother? What have I done wrong? Am I the disease that's bothering your husband? My God. Calm down. As these last words fade, the battle for his inheritance begins. Betrayal, greed and dark alliances threaten to tear the family apart. Gogo's eyes lock on his nephew and niece, a frightening promise of conflict in the air. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Good morning to you. Dad. 
We succeeded. I'm very happy. Soon everything will be ours. Exactly. We need to move fast. What are you afraid of? Let me handle the other details. The power is there. Don't even worry. I'm in. I trust you. Mom, something's wrong. Gogo has been acting strangely since Dad died. Be careful, my children. Danger lurks among us. It's obvious that your uncle can no longer be trusted. I'm on my guard with him myself. You must not receive any more gifts or anything from him or your aunt. Okay, Mom. It's time for me to act now. I must use my powers to fight my brother's wife and children. This woman must also lose her life. If she dares to oppose us I will kill her. She has no right to the riches left to my brother. My goodness. From what I can see, it looks like Papa Yi's sister is a witch. I'll have to talk to Mama Mafia about that. I hope she believes me. What are you doing out alone at this time of night? Didn't I tell you we had to be discreet and very vigilant? Yes, Mom. And what are you doing here? I was praying, ma'am. I had noticed that you put too much emphasis on discretion and vigilance, but we don't pray enough. That's why I decided a while ago to organize prayer vigils. I wanted to tell you about them, but I was afraid. I see, my daughter. You are so right. We don't pray enough. It's true that my husband's death weakened me a little, but from now on I promise we'll resume our prayers. Okay, Mom. How's your pregnancy going? It's okay, Mom. It's already the fifth month. You'll be fine. You'll soon be relieved. Amen. I've got something to tell you, but please don't take it the wrong way. Really? Yes. Talk to me, girl. I hope you won't be angry, Mom. Don't worry. Speak to me without fear. Mama Mafia. Your sister-in-law is a witch. What? How did you get this information? I'd had a revelation today. I had seen her plotting against you and your children. My God. If what you say is true, it's very serious. God doesn't lie, ma'am. This lady will try to blind you in order to kill you slowly, just as she did your husband. You mean to tell me it was my sister-in-law who killed her own brother? Yes, madam. She and Uncle Goka were responsible for your husband's death. He had told me this before he died, but I didn't believe him. I can confirm this. You have nothing to fear, madam. We just have to pray. Let's pray. What's going on? Since then, I haven't had any good news from you, sister. If it goes on like this, I'm going to use my strength. I'm going to use my knowledge. I'm trying to use my powers, but I can't control this woman and her children. And why? There's a stranger in their house. She's not from this village, but she has enormous strength that protects our brother's entire family. In any case, if you're spiritually incapable, I'll attack them physically. You know my tricks. Hello sister-in-law, how are you? I'm fine. To what do I owe your visit? Because I'm on my way to the market. Is that any way to greet your brother-in-law? Don't you know that if this were the old days, I'd be the one you'd have to marry after my brother's death? Which part of your body will I marry? Is it your bald head, or your big nose? You dare to insult me? You killed my husband, because of your desires. But I warn you, if you dare touch a fly in this house, you'll have to deal with me. Are you even trying to threaten me? You'll answer to the king. How can you accuse me of killing my own brother? Besides, my brother's gone. You don't belong in this house anymore. From now on, I forbid you to set foot on our brother's farm. It's our inheritance, not yours. That's why you killed your brother, isn't it? You just covet his possessions. I'm not going anywhere. This is our home, me and my sons. 
and the farm you're talking about also belongs to my husband, so therefore it's ours. All right. Duly noted. I told Mama Mafia that she shouldn't use her physical strength to fight the enemy. She's just reacted badly. It's already an entry point for the enemy. This lady dares to threaten me? She still doesn't know who she's dealing with. I'm going to make her life very, very complicated. Who are you, sir? What are you looking for here? I need your services, my champion. Who recommended us to you? I got your contact details through a friend. Who is this friend? Stop puffing your chest out. Stand up straight when I talk to you. Oh. Take it easy. I'm asking for the name of the person who located this place for you. His name is Dauda. Dauda? Who is Dauda? Ah, I see. Okay, what can I do for you? I'd like you to help me murder a lady. Okay, do you have money? Yes, I can pay for your services. Your wish will be our command as soon as you pay. Okay. Who's lying on the forest floor like that? Who committed this abominable act? They slit wise man Yi's wife's throat? Mafia, his wife, has just been murdered. The whole village was in mourning. Even the little innocent children felt the sadness. His children were inconsolable. Karte, the youngest, even fainted on learning of the tragedy. You've managed to eliminate this lady. You surprise me. I promised you. We have everything now. Just chase the kids away. I am very happy. I'm going to make fun of these kids. How are you my daughter? I'm so sorry for everything that's happened to you. Quit here. Shut up over there KK. Happy arrival Auntie Mana. Thank you for this. You're the house mom now. Yes, I have no choice. Ah, a lot of courage. You have to take good care of my children. Alright, Auntie Mana. Thank you so much for visiting us. May God fill you with His grace. Please keep in touch with your children. They will need it. They love you very much. You are their only hope. Isn't it Kate? Eh? Yes. I see. At least you're well educated. Why were you pretending in front of that old hag as if you didn't know the truth? They killed my parents. I'll never forgive them. Stop crying sister. Leave me alone, please. You are no credit to my parents. How can you put up with these villains when you know all the harm they do to us? Calm down, Kate. You can't fight fire by starting it. We have to play innocent if you want to live. Let's pretend we don't know anything, and continue to give them all the respect they deserve. Or do you want to die too? No, I don't want to die. But I want to avenge my parents' death. All the more reason to calm down. God will do the fighting for us. Don't even worry about it. We just have to pray. Did you hear me? Yes. Okay. Go get ready for church. This foreign girl just spoiled my plans. I thought I'd take advantage of these children's anger to do them harm, but she's managed to soften them up. Happy arrival Uncle Gogo. Where have you been with my children since? We were at church. Church? Why are you taking my kids to church? It's not me who takes them there. It was Daddy Yi who took us there. It's thanks to him that I also converted. May he rest in peace. Your father is no more. I am taking over the governance of this house. I don't want to see your feet in church from now on. Have I made myself clear? Yes Uncle Gogo. What are you still doing in this house anyway? Don't you know you have to go back to your village? Or can't you see that the people who took you in are no longer alive? I won't let the kids down. Uncle. What use are you to them in this house? 
You have every right to chase me out of this house, but please don't do it. I have nowhere else to go. And the author of your pregnancy? Where is he? It's a long story, uncle. I'm the one responsible for this pregnancy. In any case, I'll give you time to give birth. After you give birth, you're out of here. Besides, this house is already for sale. In four months, it's finished. It won't exist anymore. Oh, and the children. Did you think about them? They'll come and stay with me at home. And if they don't want to stay with you? Do they have a choice? If they don't want to stay with me, let them go where they want. Besides, it would make my job a lot easier. Don't get angry. Do whatever you want. It's your right. You're very sweet and respectful. Thank you very much. You're very kind too. Thank you. This girl smiles at me. She is very sweet. I'm already starting to like her a lot. She's also very beautiful, and apparently she doesn't even know who got her pregnant. I can take advantage of her. What are you playing at, Ewa? You want to let my uncle get the better of us? Why are you stopping us? What do you want to do? I'm going to tell him the truth. We've got to scare that man, he's getting too big. I'm not going to stand by and watch him sell the only house our father left us. This house is the most beautiful and sumptuous in the whole village. I won't let my uncle sell it. He won't sell anything, believe me. It's always the same stories you tell, Ewa. What are you counting on to stop him doing what he says? That's what you did until he took the farm away from us. Now we had to pay for food and meat before we could eat. How long could we survive? In any case, I'm warning you, I won't cross my arm. I wouldn't like to find myself in that man's house. Therefore, I'm going to fight to keep this house. Hold on, my young brothers and sisters. Do you even see the risk you are running by trying to fight this man physically? Your aunt's witchcraft can't hurt us, that's for sure. But your uncle is very cunning and technical. His ambitions will stop at nothing. We don't care about the risk and its tricks. We just want to fight for our parents' honor. Yes, that's right. We're going to fight them. What you're counting on? Give me your plan. I'll go to the village chief and the relevant authorities and tell them what our uncle and his sister are trying to do to us. I'm planning to go to the police and lodge a complaint against the two of them, because they were the cause of our parents' death. Okay. I see. So what proof do you have? The village chief won't even rule in your favor without proof. The law won't be on your side without proof either. The village chief knows our father. He knows that everything belongs to him. The village also witnesses. No, that's not how it works, Brother Kawasi. Without proof your plan is dead. Don't forget that your uncle has all the necessary papers in his possession. There's nothing you can do. Understand it just like that. As for you, K.A., you have no proof that it was your aunt and uncle who killed your parents. Nobody will believe you. Except me, of course. So here's what we're going to do. First we strengthen our spiritual security through prayer and fasting. Then we continue to play innocent. Don't show any desire to rebel. Remember, a blind man can't fight someone with full vision. At the moment, we have no strength against these giants. So we're like blind men. But David had beaten the giant Goliath. We can win too. David had not conquered by his own strength, but by God's help. If it had been a story of personal strength without God, Goliath would have crushed him like chili pepper. We had to act wisely, but in the shadows, in order to surprise them. Okay. What's next? Just do what I told you above. For the rest of the plan, you just calm down and watch me do it. Are you sure you know what you're saying? Yes. Where is that girl now? I told her I'd wait for her in the park. Wow. 
What a beauty. I'm really sorry I'm late, Uncle Gogo. Don't worry, darling. As soon as I saw you, my anger flew away like a butterfly. Is it true what you say? Of course, my darling Awa. Come and sit down. What proves that what you're telling me is true? It's just flattery, isn't it? No. Awa, I love you very much and that's the truth. I like you too much. I don't believe you. What do you want me to do to prove it to you? Marry me. That's what I've been wanting. I'll be the father of your baby. All right, then. So I can't wait for the wedding. Cause I want to be with you. I'm more impatient than you are, my darling. Even if it's possible tomorrow we'll get married. But why do you always refuse my embraces? We'll do it after the wedding, don't be in a hurry. Besides, I just had a baby. It's not good for the baby. Okay. What's the matter with you, Gogo? This wasn't our original plan. I want us to modify our plan a little. I want to marry this girl. You know I'm a widower yourself, don't you? Are you sure you know what you want to do? Your choice could change everything. In what way? On the contrary, we'll have one more ally on our side. Are you sure you'll still be able to sell our brother's property? I want my piece of the action. Trust me, sister. We'll sell everything. The wedding won't influence our decision. I know what I'm playing at. I agree. In that case, I think we win more than we lose. In fact, I'd say we've gained everything. Exactly. It's my uncle who's been taking you home every time for a while now. What's going on with you two? Are you an ally of the bad guys now? Because I don't understand anything. Your uncle wants to marry me. What? I hope you're not going to accept his proposal. Yes, I do. I want to marry him. What? Why would you want to? I do it for my child and you. For whom? Take us away from your bullshit. Oh my god. Kyosa and his sister were shocked by their sister Aura's decision. For them, it was a betrayal on her part. They couldn't stand the fact that the one person they considered their only close relative could ally herself with the bad guys. The two young people had even begun to plan their escape from the village to venture into an unknown city. But a few weeks later, they would be very surprised by the situation. I'm coming, sweetheart. I bring you food. Okay. I'm too hungry. My belly. I have to go to the bathroom. He'll be taking out all his bowels today. He's got nothing yet. It's a good thing I'm a child of God. Otherwise I was going to put a more dangerous product for him. Your uncle's been going to the toilet all morning. <laughs> what did you put in my food? You witch. I don't know what you're talking about. Will you tell me the truth before I strangle you? Oh, I don't know. Shut your mouth over there. Oh? What's he got? K.A. Come here. Here I am. What's that satisfaction on your face? So this is your work? But what did you put in his food? I put a good diarrhea trigger on him. K.A. What did I do wrong? Besides, his belly's too big. It's going to shrink a bit. It's only good things I've done for him. <laughs> You are serious. Apparently you anticipate my plan for me. What plan? Where you are. This very day you will leave this house. Bunch of witches. Come over here all. Here I am. Did you really slap me? Go go. You will leave this house today. How dare you poison me. I'm gonna make your life miserable. Who poisoned you? 
Do you even know what poison is? Shh. If it's not poison, what is it? You'll all pay dearly. You think everyone is cruel like you and your sister Mana. You're telling me. Get out of this house before I strangle you with my own hands. That's not at all to our advantage. I'm leaving to go where? Have you forgotten that we are legally married? You're married to whom? Under what law? <laughs> Do you think I'm stupid enough to actually marry you? It's a fake wedding with fake papers. I just wanted to take advantage of you. In fact, you've never even let me touch you on the grounds that your child is still small. This story really stinks. I'm not going anywhere until we're officially divorced. What a divorce. I told you it was a sham marriage. We don't have to get divorced before we split up. I demand a divorce. If that's what you want, let's go to the mayor's. Are you really sure what you're ready to do? Are you about to sign a divorce decree? Hurrah! What's wrong with you? I'm telling you to get me to sign a divorce decree, not ask me weird questions. Sorry for the inconvenience, so you can sign. Hand over the pen. It's your turn to sign, madam. Okay. Okay, it's fine. I came out of the lion's mouth. What did you just say? Calm down, sir, and let me finish my work. According to the deed before me, Mr. Gogo and Miss Hour have officially divorced before the law. As of today, Miss Hour will take possession of all these assets. According to this agreement here before me, Mademoiselle Hour has the right to claim half of all your property after your official divorce, as was the case today. In addition to half of your property, she also has the right to retain ownership of the Yayi house and the Yayi farm. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. Don't waste your time. Everything that's written there is a fake. And why is it fake? At least check the authenticity of the deed before saying no. It was a fake marriage certificate. I think you're mistaken, sir. The deed before me here is the real one. Taken from counterfoil number 1297. It's very authentic and original. What? Did you see right? Are you surprised? Don't be, Gogo. Your forged documents were replaced by the real one on our wedding day. We were truly married in the eyes of the law. All that was left was the religious wedding. But you just blew your chance to marry me for real. What? Am I dreaming? It's the truth, Mr. Gogo. You wanted to usurp the law to deceive Miss Hour. But alas, we quickly detected your game. I refuse. This act of marriage and divorce never took place. You betrayed me. On the contrary, you're the guilty party. I remind you that we know everything you've done and how you've ripped off property that doesn't belong to you. I can assure you that the case is already in court. What you're talking about? Policemen, you may take this man to be sentenced. Let's get his sister too. You're under arrest, sir. Thank you so much Sister Eightwa for all you have done for us. You don't have to thank me. It's my duty to your late parents. It's because of your trickery that we've ended up in prison now. When it worked, you were happy. Now that it's spoiled, you want to blame me? You were going to let me use my dark magic to settle this case, but you were in a hurry. What black magic? Your magic that doesn't even work? I don't even know where you get your witchcraft. This is so lame. When I become a bird and fly off to leave you here alone, you can tell me if it's bad or not. Become a bird and I'll pluck you and slit your throat. Go go. And so ends this animation. You always find someone stronger, more cunning than you. The young girl, Aura, had managed to recover the inheritance from his children and put it in their names. As for the evil brother and sister, they were arrested and sentenced to life in prison. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, 
The lesson to be learned from this animation is the importance of divine wisdom in our daily lives. Whatever your faith and prayer life, you need God's wisdom to live and thrive in this world. Without Or's little wisdom, it's obvious that Gogo and her sister were going to end up with his children, who wanted to settle everything by force. Many left this world very early, just because they had missed out on wisdom at some point in their lives. My brothers and sisters, we don't respond to every provocation. We don't respond to every insult. Because some people, when they don't find you spiritually, attack you physically. And when you lack a little wisdom, you fall into the trap of opening a door for the devil. A lot of couples and relationships have broken up just because everyone wanted to show off their strength and abilities, when all that was needed was a little silence to calm things down. My beloved, force, or demonstrations don't solve all problems. You don't need to go and insult a sorcerer to show him that you are Christians. Don't give in to temptation. Use wisdom. Wisdom is a gain of superior quality. Those who possess it benefit greatly from it. It beautifies existence and enhances the self-worth of those who possess it. It guarantees longevity on earth. It produces wealth and triggers the advent of God's glory in the life of its possessor. It brings peace and happiness to those who possess it. It is therefore pleasant to possess divine wisdom. It is through wisdom that our preeminence is self-evident. He who is wisdom is always superior to he who is strength. It enables us to remain in God's ways. It is wisdom that enables us to anticipate the future, and through it our reign becomes self-evident. The Bible is full of examples of people who possessed it and whose lives were crowned with glory. Take Daniel, for example. He had such wisdom that it enabled him to operate with a superior spirit. God's wisdom is superior to all other wisdom, and when we possess it, we are sought after and consulted in our calling lane. Indeed, it is through divine wisdom that we gain access to wealth, not through prayer alone. May the Holy Spirit renew the seed of God's wisdom in us, so that we can water it and make it grow in our daily lives. Be abundantly blessed. Like and comment on this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell if you're new to this channel. It's the only way to encourage us. Bye.